34 million euro I'm looking for from all of you tonight. I'm going to pass the hat round. This is to fund our company. We have a biotech company called Opsona Therapeutics, which was founded in 2004 in Trinity College Dublin. And we may have a treatment for cancer. And I want to tell you that story. It's a wonderfully exciting story of basic research becoming a new drug, hopefully. And the big idea I have, which many of us have, and not just me, is the way to cure cancer will be through the immune system. So there's more and more evidence that the way to stop tumors, the way to deal with lung cancer, pancreatic cancer, colon cancer, will be to wake up the immune system and get the immune system to go in there and beat the crap out of the tumor, if I can use a technical term. And that's the big idea many companies are following. I'm gonna give you that story as well. Let me begin though, how did Opsona get going? So I uh, have always had an interest in inflammatory diseases and inflammation. And beginning way back when, I think it was 1985, as a student in Trinity, I worked on a project on Crohn's disease. And that got my attention, it's an inflammatory bowel disease, what's the mechanism? Then did a PhD in inflammation research, more in rheumatoid arthritis, a typical inflammatory disease, did a postdoc in Cambridge, always working on the underlying nuts and bolts of the inflammatory process. And of course, there's a huge interest in this in the drug industry, because these are major diseases. Rheumatoid is reasonably well managed nowadays, I guess with some of the more biologic agents, but still there's a big unmet need there. Many diseases are inflammatory and there's no real treatment for them. So we got to understand the nuts and bolts. And my job for the past 30 years was to find these little cogs, if you like, these little sort of worrying things in the inflammatory process. And of course, drug companies might say, we'll block those or manipulate them. And increasingly, there was evidence that inflammation would link to cancer because inflammation irritates the body. If your gut becomes irritated by inflammation, you might develop tumors there. So again, there was an application from inflammation into cancer, which I'll explain a bit in, in a couple of minutes. And of course, the drug companies would give me money, and I would take their money off them and run to the bank immediately. Um, and that money was used to fund some research in my lab. And occasionally, I would test one of their new drugs, maybe in my experimental systems. I might work on a target they had, and that got a bit boring. And so about 2001, 2002, me and a colleague of mine, Dermot Kelleher, said, look, why don't we form our own company? Because if we have our own company, we'll have more control over it. It'll be our ideas. And of course, we tried to get it going and failed. And then in 2004, a fateful afternoon, I'm in my office, and the phone goes, and I pick it up. And a guy called Mark Heffernan, an Australian guy, says, is that Luke O'Neill? I said, yes. He said, I want to spend five minutes with you over a cup of coffee. I'm going to form a company around what you work on and make you very rich. And I was instantly suspicious, but for some reason I said yes. And we go for a cup of coffee in a place called the West Coast Coffee Place that's on Lincoln Place. Within one minute I said, this is the man to help us. He was an entrepreneur, great guy. We hit it off immediately and I said, he's the guy to help us form this brand new company. In the future they may put two statues of me and Mark in the West Coast Coffee Place, just like Genentech, to be modest about this if Epsona succeeds. And Genentech, the world's biggest project, there's a statue of the two guys. The first meeting the business guy and the science guy I had was outside a, a pub in San Francisco. So maybe one day there'll be a statue there. Uh, so Mark really got my attention. And he said, I can form a company. You're doing very interesting things. I can, I can help you form the company. And I said, you've got to talk to my mate, Dermot Kelleher. And he spoke to Dermot. And a third guy, Kingston Mills, who's an immunologist, we were kind of speaking about companies as well. And he spoke to Kingston. And the four of us got together. And Dermot said to Mark, what do you want out of this? And Mark said, well, less than you. And that immediately got us because that was a good answer, you know, that he was going to help us. And the company gets off the ground and we begin developing a drug. And the drug targets a protein called TLR2, toga-like receptor 2. It's a key immune system protein. And there was loads of evidence emerging that TLR2 becomes overactive in inflammation. And there was evidence in rheumatoid. There was evidence in inflammatory bowel disease. There was especially evidence in transplantation. And we develop a drug to block that protein. A company in Dublin, only 10 minutes from here, developed its own drug to block TLR2, and we began testing it. And we tested in animal models and various things, get really good data. We raise investment. So Opsona so far has raised 26 million in investment, I'll have you know. We've done a phase one trial for safety with this drug. And then about two years ago, evidence begins to emerge that TLR2 is dysfunction in cancer. And it looks as if tumors will hijack the inflammatory process. And they do this for their own ends. Inflammation can allow cells to spread through the body. Blood vessels grow. Inflammation often involves blood vessels growing into inflamed tissue. And tumors actually hijack this process and spread through the body. And there was very good evidence in gastric cancer 
and a melanoma and pancreatic cancer, that TLR2 would trigger this spreading of tumors through the body of process called metastases. So we test our drug, again in animal models of cancer, and a very good collaborator, Brendan Jenkins in Monash, gets really good data for us in gastric cancer. Our drug stops gastric cancer. Now it is in mice, which is a caveat, but there is evidence of TLR2 in humans as well. And we develop the drug, we go after gastric cancer, and we said this is the one to target, and the money we need now is to allow us to do a big clinical trial in gastric cancer and see if our drug works. And of course, gastric cancer is a really damaging cancer, less than a year survival rate, 700,000 people a year die of gastric cancer, and we're trying to develop a drug to stop that process, and it's very exciting, because if we can treat that disease in that way, it'll be a big add-on to humanity. And we need this money, it's a very expensive process. I mean, Science Foundation Ireland, of course, fund uh, basic research. To translate that research into a real product takes a huge amount of money, huge amount of investment, mainly from venture capital, and we're very grateful to our current investors, who include two Irish funds, uh, Saroba, uh, our very important fund, and Fountain. And then we've got some multinationals as well. Novartis are giving us some money. But we still need this extra money to, to realise this dream of coming up with a treatment for cancer. And of course, the other thing to say is that there's more and more evidence that if we target the immune system, we will treat cancer. And you may have all heard of the famous case in Ireland of ipilimumab, where it's a very expensive drug. It's used for melanoma only works in 15% of people. It does work in that 15%, but that's like a little foothold on this disease. And that's an example of a, of a drug that stimulates the immune system to fight the tumors. And our drug is very, very similar. And I'll finish with little, one little piece to say. So many of us were touched by cancer in our lives. My own mother, uh, when I was 12, my mother was diagnosed with breast cancer. She died five years later. And I always had a bit of anxiety about working on cancer for some reason. And so the thought now that we have an Irish company based in Dublin, who has a drug, and I'm involved in that company with all the Upsona people, is a wonderfully exciting prospect, and we may well realise the dream then of an Irish company developing a new treatment for cancer. Thank you very much.